a call upon the Russian team, the first player, that is Pavel Velodin. Uh, he will be speaking on um, photodynamic therapy with the use of chlorine's E6 photosensitizer for neovascular pathology. Uh, dear chairmen, dear colleagues, uh, first of all, uh, on behalf of uh, the president of uh, Russian Ophthalmology Society, Professor Boris Malugin, uh, on behalf of uh, Russian team and all Russian ophthalmologists, we would like to thank the organizing committee of all Indian Ophthalmology Society for the invitation to take part in this scientific congress. And it's a, a big uh, a pleasure to be here. Uh, thank you uh, for attending to the conference. Uh, my topic, uh, in my topic, uh, I'd like to talk about current role of the uh, photodynamic therapy in the treatment of uh, retinal pathology and such retinal conditions. It's well known that uh, PDT was initially developed to treat cancer by selective destruction of tumor cells and uh, uh, PDT is uh, a two-step process uh, based on selective accumulation on photosensitizers and tumor tissue capable to stimulate photochemical reaction after irradiation by light of specific wavelengths which induce preferential tumor cells deaths and vascular damage. So ophthalmic PDT uh, was developed in 19s uh, as mainly for the treatment of the uh, CNV and um, a mechanism of photodynamic action is well known. Uh, first step, intravenous administration of the drug, which uh, selective accumulation of the drug in abnormal vaginal uh, uh, choroidal vessels. Uh, second step, transpupillary low intensive laser radiation of the area of CNV, which um, induce photochemical damage uh, of endothelial cells which always subsisted near vascular occlusion. So um, the TAP and VIP studies demonstrate that PDT uh, with uh, uh, drug uh, vertoporfin or visudine was moderately effective treatment with a good safety profile. Uh, so, uh, during the several years, uh, the photodynamic therapy with visudine was um, the golden standard or um, uh, the method of choice uh, for the treatment of choroidal neovascularization in age-related macular degeneration and pathologic myopia um, until uh, almost replaced by anti-VGF therapy following marine and ANCORE studies. So nowadays, uh, PDT has considered as an important alternative treatment modality for uh, neovascular AMD resistant to anti-VGF therapy and uh, for a wide range of other hororetinal conditions, including uh, central serous chororetinopathy, um, polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy, and uh, choroidal hemangioma, with standard and uh, safety in changed uh, protocols. Uh, however, the main disadvantages of PDT with visudine uh, were temporary occlusion of uh, choroidal uh, neovascular vessels and high risk of phototoxic damage of the neurosensory retina and pigment epithelium cells during repeated sessions of PDT. Uh, we studied uh, the new water soluble chlorine photosensitizer photolone, which characterized for high contrast accumulation in the neovascular tissue, low dark and light toxicity, and rapid elimination from the body within 28 hours. For this purpose, uh, we devised a special laser ophthalmic microsurgical complex for the PDT and first saint um, diagnostic adopted for the um, chlorine photosensitizers. Um, the technique and uh, um, administration of the drug and the energy and the energy parameters uh, was uh, is presented on this slide. Uh, next, we would like to show you the most demonstrative clinical cases for uh, uh, for the PDT of uh, hororetinal conditions with the use of uh, uh, new photosensitizer photolone. 
Number one, it's the patient uh, with the polypoidal choroidal vas uh, vasculopathy. We performed one session on PDT with good clinical results. We see that uh, at three months after uh, treatment, uh, the central retinal sickness decreased. Uh, the best corrected visual acuity slightly increased, and uh, we achieved the almost complete uh, occlusion of the choroidal polyps. Another clinical case, uh, photodynamic therapy of uh, uh, chronic uh, central serous uh, choroidinopathy. Um, it's a patient, uh, 82 years old woman. Uh, she had uh, previously three intravitreal injections of ranib uh, ranibizumab without uh, any clinical response. And then we perform one session of PDT with uh, uh, chlorine photosensitizer, uh, uh, photosensitizer, also with good clinical effect. As you see, at three months after treatment, uh, we achieve complete resolution of subretinal fluid with uh, reattachment of neurosensory retina in the macula and uh, the increase of best corrected visual acuity. And uh, the third clinical case, um, a patient with choroidal hemangioma, uh, peripapillary localization. Uh, in this case, we performed two sessions of PDT. We achieved the uh, stabilization of the tumor size. Uh, the tumor size uh, slightly uh, decrease and uh, uh, we achieve um, uh, completely resolution of subretinal fluid in the macula. So uh, it, to summarize our preliminary results demonstrate high efficacy of PDT with the use of uh, chlorine photosensitizer as a primary treatment in selected cases of chronic central serous choroidinopathy, uh, polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy and choroidal melanomas. Obviously, first investigation and long-term follow-up are necessary to determine the rate of possible uh, ocular side effects and recurrence. And overall, in all cases, we didn't observe any systemic or local complication associated with photodynamic therapy with chlorine photosensitizer photolone. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much. It's, uh, in this, uh, there will not be any questions. So